Hey everybody. Smith and Gail Dobson singing about their daughter Sasha. Great Santa Cruzians. We miss Smith very much. Sasha's in uh, New York doing great. Smith Jr. San Francisco playing tons of music. And Gail's amazing. She'll be in town here, I think, on the 23rd of uh, January at uh, Michael's on Main. Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, thank you for tuning in to KSEO, Stepping In Radio. And if you were um, listening last hour, I was uh, the, had the privilege to be a guest on uh, Think Local First uh, with Barbara Mason. And uh, that was great, just being able to uh, be part of that, the community of Think Local First. And, um, you know, it's really a, really a pleasure to be part of KSCO. You know, I've been doing this for a year now. And uh, the station just stands for you know, freedom of thought, freedom of speech, freedom of business. And, you know, just being part of Think Local First was really, was really great. I really appreciated that. So um, today I think I'm, I'm really going to... Uh, encourage people to pay attention to their health this year. I, you know, it's the, the 15th of uh, January will be Tuesday, and that's usually the day that people have given up on their dreams or goals for the year. It's unfortunate, and then a lot of people just don't set them anymore. And I can understand, you, you know, you keep doing it again and again, and you, you don't have the tools to get where you want to go, you stop trying to set them, or setting, set new goals. So. What I work with, obviously I'm a chiropractor and I work with a lot of people with uh, nutrition. Um, right now the big word out there is ketosis or uh, the keto diet or um, intermittent fasting. The keto diet and intermittent fasting were the two largest uh, searches on the internet last year and for good reason. Um, as I said last hour, you know, I mean all of the great people in history have talked about diet and ketosis, you know, and, and fasting. You know, uh, Plato talked about it. Socrates talked about it. Um, the father of, of medicine talked about, you know, let thy food be thy medicine and thy medicine be thy food. I was reading a quote by uh, Benjamin Franklin the other day that said, you know, eating, the lack of eating never killed anybody, but we're eating too much can, <laughs> something along that line. It's a bad quote, but even Thomas Edison said the doctors of the future will give no medicine, but will um, help people become healthier through diet and exercise and an understanding of how the body works or the nervous system works. Those are paraphrased. I don't have them with me, but you know, the really interesting part is um, after World War II, we got so involved with covering up you know, medicine made some incredible strides. I mean, we came up with the most amazing um, drugs and surgeries, and World War II allowed a lot of that to happen in, some, in the emergencies in the field. But, you know, it's really, if you take a look at the health of our country right now, um, we're rated 50th in the world for health, and a study just came out from Michigan State University, and I'll talk about this at my workshop Tuesday night at the Best, Best Western in, in um, Seacliff. Uh, maybe I forgot to mention that. This Tuesday night, 7 to 8 o'clock at the Best Western, I'll be going over uh, doing a workshop on the types of fasting, rolling out how, st you know, why to fast in the first place? Why would you want to fast? Well, the real key is for stem cell production. What are stem cells? Stem cells are those little tiny cells that are have no destination until there's an emergency. Then they all gather the troops and they go to that um, uh, emergency area and they fix it. They can become heart cells, lung cells, kidney cells. They can patch the, the cut on your arm. They do anything. And stem cells are, are very sought after. I mean, you could pay tens of thousands of dollars to get them injected into your body. Um, you know, or you can just help have your body create them. We know based on the top scientists on the planet that we can produce our own stem cells. Dr. Yushinori Asumi won the Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology in 2016, and he won this Nobel Prize 
in 2016 because of a study with a term called autophagy, which is autophagy, that's self-eating. What that means is, under, and he did this research, under times of stress or under times of fasting, the body would spare the healthy cells and break down all the weak cells, the cancer cells, the weak immune cells, the bad blood cells, um, kidney cells, anything that was no longer, could no longer hold up to the uh, inspection, so to speak, would be uh, dropped out, you know, and they'd be broken down. The gut cells, the microbiome, the 100,000 bugs in our gut, they get, they get carried away and they get fat and lazy and then instead of producing really he healthy foods for us, because they break down what we eat, we can't absorb it without them, um, they get kind of start putting out second or third hand products that are just, and with, with the food that we eat that's bare, barely got any vitamins and minerals in it anymore anyway, um, we don't have much of a chance. So when Dr. Asumi discovered that under times of autophagy, the body is going to break down all the bad cells. The cool thing is what they did with the cell, with the byproducts of the cells. They went to something like Gray Bears. They went to a recycling center and all of those components were made into brand new stem cells. Fresh, young, healthy, vibrant, ready to go cure anything stem cells. So we now know through fasting that we can actually help your body create stem cells. Another doctor, Dr. Walter Longo, who's you know, one of the leading doctors at USC came up with the understanding that under, after 30 hours of fasting, again, that the body will produce stem cells and that they will go and rebuild the body parts. He was actually finding that the pancreas uh, cells would actually start to come back on some of the patients that he did these studies on. So, pretty interesting. So, um, What's fasting all about? It's actually what we want to do in fasting is start to slow down um, our digestive system. We want to give it a break. If you think about the digestive system, it's going to have to work 24-7. Um, People eat 16 meals a day. Every time you put a nut in your mouth, that's spiking insulin and it's called a meal. So we're gonna help you discover and how to shorten what we call an eating window. So eventually you're gonna eat about six meals or six hours a day will be the only time you eat and let your digestive system rest the, the last part of the day. And then by doing that, um, not only is your digestive system gonna heal, but your body's gonna do something really amazing. It's gonna, it's gonna run out of immediate available sugar or glucose and it's gonna burn fat cells. Fat cells are like, I came up with this analogy last hour, it's like if you had a, a whole bunch of wood in your garage all winter, but you didn't use it, and you just used PG&E um, gas and electricity, you're gonna be paying for that gas and electricity when you have a whole bunch of wood out there in the garage. Well, that's your fat. That's stored energy, it's all it is. So if you can start to uh, stop using PG&E so much, and start burn, bringing in some of those logs and putting them on the file and fire and burning them, not only are you gonna save money because you don't have to spend so much money on food, in fact, the cool thing about fasting is it doesn't cost anything. It's, you don't have to go shopping, you don't have to clean the dishes, it, it, you don't have to clean the oven, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna, um, when we understand how we're gonna fast, which we'll be going over Tuesday night, I think it's gonna be very refreshing for you. Now, a lot of people are very scared about the idea of fasting without going without a meal. There's a new term called hangry. It's hungry and angry put together, and I'm sure all of us, when we haven't eaten, we think we start to get that jittery feeling in our stomach, and we go, oh my gosh, the world's coming to an end. I gotta get something to eat. You know, watch out, I gotta eat. You're gonna eat your foot, you know, or it reminds me of that movie with uh, Charlie Chaplin called gold rush in the old days when he was stuck up in Alaska and he had to cook his boot and uh, you know he ate his boot and the shoestrings became the spaghetti and it was quite a great movie but um, you know the body does okay we are not going to starve to death I guarantee that you know I mean if you look around you've got so many people have so much stored fuel on their body and uh, a friend of mine um, Dr. Mindy Pels who's a co-host with me sometimes I was 
uh, listening to a talk that she gave the other day, and she goes, you know, thank your fat. Actually, when you look at it in the mirror tonight, thank it and go, thank you so much because it's storing all those toxins. If it wasn't for those fat cells, the toxins you get, the glyphosate, the heavy metals, the um, pesticides and bad estrogens that we get in the food we drink, the toxins we get in the air, would get into our organs and it would make us sick and kill us. But those fat cells grab all those toxins and store them so that they don't, they can't get to you and they can't hurt you. So kind of an interesting concept that your fat cells are actually helping you. That doesn't mean we want to keep them. So we do want to get rid of them because there are some bad effects to it. It's bad on your heart. It can increase your chance of cancer. It, uh, those toxins can turn on bad genes. They can um, cause all kinds of chronic inflammation. I touched on the fact that Michigan State University came out with a new study, and that was that 50% of the world population has a chronic disease. 50% of the world population has a chronic disease. Chronic disease is something that lasts over three months. So if you have a condition that's lasted over three months, it's considered a chronic disease. The study also goes on to say by 2020, next year, 2020, 81 million Americans, 81 million Americans will have multiple chronic diseases. So one quarter of our country will have multiple chronic diseases according to the Michigan State study, Michigan University study next year. What can we do about this? If, if we're so smart and we can put man on the moon and we can make these computers like this little cell phone that's so tiny camera, all this amazing stuff, why can't we fix our, our bodies? Why can't we fix our health? Why can't we figure it out? Life is so amazing. Your body is so amazing. It does know how to heal itself. And if it can survive in the environment that we keep putting it in, you know, you should really decide to reward it and let's help it get better. So come Tuesday night to uh, the Best Western in Aptos at Severino's, 7 to 8 o'clock. It's $15, uh, 25 at the door. But go to, uh, if you text on your cell phone, start fasting, all one word, start fasting to 474747, 47, you can sign up for the class. You can sign up right there. Um, we're going to give a lot of information out. You're going to guarantee you're going to be happy that you came um, because you're going to be able to go home and start doing something good for yourself. So I'm real excited about that. What I want to do is uh, go ahead and take a break for a minute. We're going to listen to a guy named Dr. Daniel Pompa, who's one of my mentors. And Dr. Pompa is the leading authority on cellular inflammation. And he's uh, actually put this workshop together called the Stenomic Solution. Those of you on Facebook can see this. This is what we'll be teaching. And him, along with Dr. Carl, or Jason Fung, we'll listen to in a minute, um, will uh, be, this is where we get the information. So we're going to go ahead and listen to that now. And as you know, January, we are going to embark on a seven-week fasting um, extravaganza, if I would call it. And uh, Dr. Pompa is really helping us lay this out. And I thought maybe you could just give some words of encouragement and or any other advice that people might need. Well, there's some popular words out there right now, right? Intermittent fasting just happens to be the number one Google health term right now, right? So if you don't know what it is, well, you'll find out. Um, ketosis, ketones, right? Another one. I, I don't know what number it is, but it's in the top. There's a lot of interest in this right now. Well, you're going to learn about that. You're going to learn about how to be fat adapted and why that's important for most conditions that people are dealing with today, even weight loss resistance. Uh, but really, we're going to talk about you know, how all of that works up to a fast and what happens during a fast where your body actually eats its bad cells, literally. It's called autophagy. Nobel Prize 2016 was won on this term. Uh, and more importantly, how it raises up stem cells. Mm -hmm. and, and by the way, that's when we get older. That's kind of what we lose. And yeah, that's why exactly. you don't look as good or, or stem cells. Cells. That's exactly what are you saying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not you. Oh, okay. Me too. But anyways, but when you fast, you, you raise up natural stem cells. So this process that you're going to be teaching, we as a group are going to be teaching in January, it's basically how to maximize these stem cells, how to maximize this autophagy, and really how to maximize healing in really 
longevity. I mean, you yeah. know, it goes beyond disease. It, this is talking about living long, healthy. So you're going to learn all of that. You need to be there. So basically, we're going to be, you know, people are probably going to have situations like autoimmune disease or weight loss resistance, possibly pre-diabetic. People like this might benefit from something all, like this. All of it. Hormone dysregulation. I mean, people just don't feel well, aren't sleeping well. These are hormone problems, but you, you heard so many scientists this weekend talking from stage about these principles and how they create this hormone optimization. And that's why people can't lose weight, right? That's why people don't feel well. So anyway, you're going to learn it all. I mean, it's, it's something that nobody is doing. We have the largest group doing this. We have, I mean, look, $44 million was given from the NIH in this area. Wow. You know, that you're going to be discussing, so yeah, I think absolutely. it's worth being there. So if you're wondering why you still don't feel well, and then you're going to hear some stuff you've never heard before, and we're going to really help you get on the road to recovery and enjoy the next chapter of your life. I'm here with Dr. Duncan McCallum, and I've heard a lot about fasting. What's that all about? You know, that's a great question. Fasting is so popular right now, and unfortunately, a lot of people are not really doing it correctly, and they're not getting the gains that they should. Um, why would somebody want to fast in the first place? The real question is that, and the answer is you want to get stem cells produced. Stem cells, what are they? They create everything in your body. They can repair every part of your body. So we know that when you fast, you can actually get your body to produce stem cells. I'm going to be going over this program Tuesday night, January 15th, at the Best Western in Seacliff. Um, and if you'd like to come, it's 7 to 8 o'clock. You can call my office, 831-459-9990, to register. It's $15 in advance or $25 at the door. We'd love to see you there. Call my office, 831-459-9990, to register. Okay, well, uh, that sounded pretty good. I think I want to go. <laughs> I recommend you come. And if you didn't catch all that, and you do take the Sentinel tomorrow, Sunday, there'll be a, a half-page uh, um, ad explaining it and how to get a hold of it. But, you know, the easiest thing on the weekend is just to get your cell phone, if you have one, and text start fasting all one word, to 474747, and it's going to send you a way to um, sign up online. And, uh, you know, I guarantee you're going to hear stuff you haven't heard before. This stuff is uh, coming from some of the top guys on the planet. And I'm just so fortunate to work with them and to be able to uh, speak with them on a weekly basis about some of the problems that um, people are facing. So um, some of the things that people are suffering from or what they want help with are things like, of course, weight loss. I mean, you know, right now, this is the time of year, the whole world's trying to do something about weight loss. Everybody wants to lose some weight, you know, and that's great. But if you don't, if you don't, if you're not healthy and you lose weight, that's one thing. I'm, my goal, and I'm, what I'm really passionate about is for people to get healthy for the rest of their life and to learn how to do it. You know, I want to, I don't want to give you a fish, I want to teach you how to fish. And that's what we're gonna start this weekend, or this, this Tuesday. And then there'll be a second seven-week course after that that if you're interested, you can sign up for. And I, I believe you're going you're gonna to want to do it. Um, so weight loss is, uh, everybody's different. You know, everybody's different. And you've got to just give yourself a break. And I want to I tell you that there's no failure on here. You know, you might decide to fast one day and go, I'm going to do a 24-hour fast now that Dr. McCollum's explained it. You know, and you start off really great, then two by two, by two o'clock, you go, oh, no, I'm not. Well, you know, go ahead and, and eat if you need to. This is a learning process. It's, you're going to change your lifestyle. Um, I eat the food I want to eat, and I, I you know, I, I've, been, I've been able to keep my, my weight at a really good place. Um, I enjoy food more now than before. I just don't eat as much. Um, my stomach shrunk. Energy level is huge. So many people are t exhausted all the time. And fasting will increase your energy for several reasons. One is you're not busy burning up so much fuel digesting stuff all day, especially if you're eating bad food. Your body's got to digest and eliminate these toxins and these, you know, these empty calories, all this work for nothing. You know, the processed food, the gluten that people are uh, in 
get in, uh, inf inflammation from. Um, a lot of times people eat healthy, gluten-free gluten snacks. Well, usually it's gluten-free junk food is what it's become now. Just because this term gluten is out there, everybody thinks if they eat gluten-free Cheez-Its, they're doing themselves a favor. Well, guess what? You're not. So that's something that we're going to talk about is how to get more energy. It's just a math problem. If your body's not spending money or energy on digesting food for 12 hours a day, guess where that energy goes? It goes to brain power, repairing your body, repairing your organs. Brain fog is a huge thing people have. And we'll be talking about that. And sometimes there's more than just fasting necessary because you know we know that all these toxins, the heavy metals, the glyphosate, cross this thing called the blood-brain barrier and they love fat and your brain's um, made of fat. If you've ever been called a fathead, that's why, because your brain's made of fat. And um, so we need to help you understand how to get this stuff out of your brain easily. Um, the body loves burning ketones. The brain loves burning ketones. Ketones burn like a gas stove where uh, sugar or glucose burns like a smoky wood fireplace. You know, it's, it's inflammatory. We, America is stuck on an inflammatory diet and we want to teach people how to move away from that inflammatory diet. Ketones, the brain loves ketones. It makes you a lot sharper. Um, you know, when you have a, a ketone type of diet, you're, they say there's a study out there that's, that says that you've got 20% more uh, clarity and brain power on fasting when you do it the right way. Um, I can look that up for you. Um, I'll try to have that Tuesday night so you can find out about it. I just don't remember the source right now. One of the biggest problems we have in health these days is our immune systems are so weak. Part of the problem is white blood cells, some of them can live to be very, for a very, very long time, and they have a memory to them. So let's say that you had an allergy to wheat, okay, and you had an inflammatory response. Well, those white blood cells that go fight that allergy, they still remember that, and they're floating around in your body. Soon as you get, that smells another wheat, it blows up into another infection. It's really crazy. It's really crazy as that more inflammation comes. So fasting will create a die-off of the old white blood cells and allow your body to make new white blood cells, which is what we want. We want, our, we want our fountain of youth. We want our body to recreate itself out with the old, in with the new. Uh, another thing is hormone balance. Um, you know, we get so many bad estrogens. They're called xenoestrogens with an X. The xenoestrogen is an estrogen that your body didn't create. It's in the, the food that we eat, the plastic in our wa drinking water. Um, it's in the pesticides and herbicides that farmers spray on commercial food. It's uh, the estrogens is if you're eating um, non-organic meat, poultry, beef, whatever, you are getting so many estrogens in your body. You wonder why guys start to develop uh, breasts called gonochromastia and why women have all these hormone issues and their hair is falling out and they're, they can't lose weight and they get all these hot flashes. A lot of it has to do with these bad estrogens that are stored in your fat cells. And um, so by fasting, we can help turn that around. Now I'm gonna go over some things at the workshop that you know you need to understand. I can't go over it all right now, but some of you are gonna have tried everything in the world and still have had no success. Others are gonna be walking in the door in pretty good shape and walk out in better shape. Some of you are gonna need to be have your hands held going through this program, and we know how to do that. Um, we can help you find out what, what is your heavy metal load. We'll be offering um, the heavy metal uh, tests there. Um, the gut test, we're gonna find out, some of you are gonna have so such a poor count of the good bacteria in your digestive system, in your uh, large intestine, that it doesn't even have the ability to digest the food correctly and get the vitamins and nutrients to you. So there's um, some testing that we can do for that. And, uh, you know, I've tested my family and I'm surprised even my family, you know, we eat really healthy and have for a long time. 
but there's imbalances there and it shows some that will cause a term called dysbiosis, which means just gut imbalance. There's some that can cause Crohn's disease or lead itself to that. Um, you know, uh, there's some types of microbiome or bugs in our gut that are responsible for um, in, increasing the risk of atherosclerosis or heart attacks. And, uh, you know, it's like if I were to take a car that I, and I never looked under the hood, I never checked to see if there were any nails in the tire, didn't see if there's any oil, I didn't know if there was water in the radiator, and I decided to drive across to New York in the winter or summer, or just on a, a good weather, what are my chances of making it? I, a lot of times I see people going through life with these bodies that just, they don't know how to check them. They've never been taught, they've never been told. You know, you see a car dro driving down the road blowing smoke out the back, and it's got rust on the paint. That's like a body that's inflamed. It's just can't burn fuel correctly, and everything's smoking and banging and clicking and you know your hormones are bad you've got you can't lose weight you have no energy you can't think because you got brain fog and um, your immune system is shot everything that comes along you're gonna get you know this is and then you're gonna be one of the 81 million Americans next year that are going to be having multiple chronic diseases according to Michigan's uh, University so this is kind of uh, the cool part about all this is there's something you can do about it and in about in a few minutes, I'm going to play a uh, interview I did with Dr. Jason Fung. Jason, Dr. Jason Fung is breaking ground on handling chronic disease through fasting. He wrote a book called The Obesity Code um, that is amazing. You should get that and read it and break it down. He also has a book called The Complete Guide to Fasting, and we're going to be using a lot of his principles and teaching them. I had the pleasure to uh, sit with him at a seminar with about 40 other docs that we work with, and we spent several hours with him asking questions and getting answers from this guy. And he's a nephrologist or a kidney doctor that's um, stopped using traditional medicine to help people with chronic disease, and he's getting amazing results. So we're, uh, we've got this information for you, and I really want, I'm excited about uh, uh, availing it to you. So you can look at it. So Tuesday night, if you're, you just tuned in at the Best Western in Aptos, come and join us, 7 to 8 o'clock. It's $15 uh, in advance, 25 at the door. Come find out about this stuff. We'll have some great handouts for you, some uh, shopping lists, um, teach you how to start to become a fat, optimized fat burning in your body. That's the first step. You can't do a triple flip off the diving board until you can jump in the water. So we're going to teach you how to jump in the water first. You're going to, we're going to get your body to get the idea that maybe it can burn a fat cell instead of glucose and sugar. We're going to start to train the bugs in your gut, which are demanding that you eat ice cream. It's not you, it's your bugs. So give yourself a break. Let's train those bugs not to need so much ice cream and sugar. And so we're going to start to change this over a course of time. We've got a seven week course that we're gonna offer where we're gonna walk you through all this stuff. Wouldn't it be cool? What if you could actually come out of this and actually be in charge of your health? You know, again, teaching you how to fish instead of giving you a fish. Um, we, there's a guy named Hal Elrond and he's written a book called The uh, Magic Miracle Morning. And uh, I just saw a quote from him recently that said, the moment that you take responsibility for everything in your life is the moment you'll be able to create anything in your life. So I think we've grown up in a time where we used to walk into the doctor's office, hand them our body, and said, we're gonna go get our nails done. Can we pick up the body in like an hour? Will you get it fixed for us? And uh, you know they would do something and give you something and then send you out the door and you, you know, trusted the fact that you were better. There's a great book out there called Undoctored, UN Doctored, and I recommend you get it. And what this author talks about is most people, and this goes right along with the study from Michigan State, the third thing they said is 99% of the people do most of their own doctoring and take their own home care and doctoring. And what that means is 
How many of you out there have had a condition and you spent hours and hours on the internet looking up your condition? And you might check some of those scary things, and of course that's what you got, or it might be a bunch of, of minor things. And you go into your, your family doctor and you, at that moment, and what this guy says in the book on doctor, at that moment you probably know more about your condition than your medical doctor. And no offense to him, and you know, this guy's so busy uh, billing insurance and trying to figure out how to make things go that he doesn't have the time to put into studying your particular condition. There's some amazing, brilliant doctors out there, but you know, usually you've done more studying on your condition. So what we want to do at this workshop coming up is give you the power to start to take your, your life back. Now the cool thing about fasting is, there's several, it's free. You know, your health care is free. You want, you want free health care? <laughs> Start to learn how to fast. It doesn't cost anything for you to learn how to change the foods you put in your body. You don't have to go shopping for 5 or 7, 8, 12, 16 meals a day. They say that most Americans eat 16 meals a day. That means they put something in their mouth 16 times a day. A snack, snack, snack. We're told eat 16 meals a day. It's wrong. Look around at the health of our country and see if it's changed. It's getting worse. So, you know, um, was it Einstein said? Continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. So, do something different. Come to our class Tuesday night at the Best Western in Seacliff. And I'm passionate about this. You know, I want you to come. 15 bucks is just so I'm paying for my room so I can try to help you guys learn how to get your life back and get your health back. I'd be very excited to meet you. You can um, uh, get on your cell phone right now and uh, text start fasting, all one word, start fasting to 474747, 47 47, and uh, that will get you to a, a page that you can click on and register online. And also, will give you a 10 page handout on the Stenomic Solution, uh, which is Dr. Pompa's book, Dr. Daniel Pompa, the leader in uh, stem cell, well, the leader in um, cellular inflammation. This is his fasting program. He's right now got over 20,000 people fasting with him, and his goal is to have a million people fasting with him. So just think about that. If we could get more people to eat less, actually the phrase is don't eat less, eat less often. Shorten your eating window, eat higher quality food, allow your body to burn all this stored oak wood in the that you have in the um, garage that you're not even touching. In fact, it's the mice are in there and the termites are getting in there. While you're paying PG&E, they're exorbitant prices for their gas and electricity. So start to burn that, that wood. Start to burn those fat cells on your body, but you got to do it correctly and you have to know the, the, you know the tricks to do it. And so we're going to teach you those tricks. We're going to get your body burning fat. And then we're going to teach you how to intermittent and fast. But you can't do it the other way around. You can't just go, I'm going to fast today and get away with it if your body's not ready for it. So what I want to do now is go to another commercial. But this time we're going to listen to Dr. Jason Fung. And as I mentioned before, Dr. Fung wrote uh, the book, The Obesity Code, and also The Complete Guide to Fasting. And he's one of the guys I've mentored with. And I've had the opportunity to sit down and talk with him. This is an interview I did with him uh, at a seminar we were at, and um, so I'm going to go ahead and have Griffin play that now, and then we'll be right back. And I have Dr. Jason Fung here. Uh, Dr. Fung is an amazing doctor, uh, nephrologist, who's really breaking amazing ground. He has uh, been embracing the nation with um, fasting and how we can actually, through fasting, reverse type 2 diabetes. So we're really glad to have you here, and I thought Thank maybe you. you could just mention a few things about it. Yeah, it's uh, not very hard to understand because if you don't eat, then your body is going to need to use up that glucose because yeah. it's an energy source. So if you don't eat, your blood sugar will fall. Everybody knows that. So then why can't we use that as a therapeutic option? Because now you've got a, a sort of treatment that's 100% natural, completely free, and wouldn't that be better to do than to go see your doctor and take expensive medications that have potential side effects? Uh, and, and that's the real thing, is that it's just, this represents a new option for people 
that a lot of people haven't thought about before. And it's like, if, if it works, great. If it doesn't work, well, you really haven't lost anything. Like, you don't eat for, for a few hours. That's, that's mm -hmm. the only thing. You're hungry for a little bit. But you haven't lost anything. But if it works for you, it really can change your life because that type 2 diabetes can cause so many diseases, right? It can cause heart disease and kidney disease and blindness and stroke. Yeah, another and one cause a kidney failure too, exactly. right? Exactly, and it's not fun. And at that yeah. point, if you develop all those diseases, there's nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that people always think is that, well, you know, I can go get some insulin from my doctor. Right. And the problem with that is that, yes, you can get insulin from your doctor, it won't make you healthier. Mm -hmm. That's the point that if you have uh, type 2 diabetes and you take all these medications, you don't actually prevent any heart disease or strokes or anything like that. The insulin doesn't make it better because it's nothing to break the sugar. Yeah, and you were mentioning too that insulin, I mean, most people have a problem with too much insulin anyway. Yeah. So when you said, why the heck would you give somebody more insulin if their problem is too much insulin in the first place? Exactly, and the insulin, as everybody who takes it knows, causes weight gain. You mm -hmm. take insulin, you gain weight. Well, how is that going to make your diabetes? Well, it's going to make it worse. Mm -hmm. So you're taking a drug that, yes, your sugars will get better, but your underlying disease is going to get worse. Right. And it's like year after year, you're just giving yourself more medications. And guess what? That's exactly what we saw. So, you, you know, in the standard treatment, and the scary part, of course, is that you could go to 99% of doctors, even at like the fanciest medical schools, and they'll treat you exactly the same. So they'll give you first a drug and another drug, then insulin, more insulin, more insulin. Right. And they think that they're doing great, but you know, at the end of the day, they've got their heart disease, they've got their strokes, they've got their kidney disease, they haven't actually done anything. Right. So we are so excited. In January, I'm going to be rolling out a seven-week fasting program. And uh, I think it's going to be amazing. It's going to help you understand how to fast, we're gonna do it in a way that you can break into it slowly. So we're gonna end up with a five-day fast, which is gonna be awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you Thank coming you. here. You've helped so many people. Thanks. I'm here with Dr. Duncan McCallum, and I've heard a lot about fasting. What's that all about? You know, that's a great question. Fasting is so popular right now, and unfortunately, a lot of people are not really doing it correctly, and they're not getting the gains that they should. Um, why would somebody want to fast in the first place? The real question is that, and the answer is you want to get stem cells produced. Stem cells, what are they? They create everything in your body. They can repair every part of your body. So we know that when you fast, you can actually get your body to produce stem cells. I'm going to be going over this program Tuesday night, January 15th at the Best Western in Seacliff. Um, and if you'd like to come, it's 7 to 8 o'clock. And you can call my office, 831-459-9990 to register. It's $15 in advance or $25 at the door. We'd love to see you there. Call my office, 831-459-9990 to register. Okay, well, we're back. Sounds like I never left, really. So that was a great interview with Dr. Fung. He's such a great guy, and he's actually pretty funny, quite honestly. Um, so we're talking about fasting. We're talking about the ketogenic diet, what's good with it, what's bad with it, um, why, why things, some diets work and some don't. We'll go into that in a minute. But again, and I think you already heard, Tuesday night at the Best Western in Aptos, you can text start fasting, all one word, to 474747, and you will be sent a link to sign up. $15 in advance, 25 at the door, and come find out about this whole subject. Let me answer some questions for you. So, um, and then we will be offering a seven-week course if it makes sense, because this is like learning to ride a bike. You can't take the training wheels off and ride in one day. You know, um, there's a there's few steps, and the first one is to get you off the uh, the blood sugar roller coaster. We need to get your you burning fat instead of sugar. So that's going to be the goal of the first week, starting Tuesday night, is teach you how to start to get your body to be burning uh, fat correctly, and then uh, we're going to increase your ability to be fat adapted, and then uh, help you with your brain fog so you can think clearer. Each week we'll be going over another step and culminating with some kind of fast. Some people will do a 
24 hour fast, some will do a juice fast, some will do something called fasting mimicking diet, which is something that I mentioned Walter Longo earlier. He's the guy that uh, discovered that after 30 hours of fasting, stem cells get poured out, of, you know, get just proliferate throughout your body. Um, he was able to create a way to make that happen without not eating every day. Um, so you can actually have an eating window and you put a, a certain amount of calories in your body and you can create stem cells doing it that way. So there's lots of different ways to get your body healthy. But the whole reason to fast, you got to get this. It's not just because it's trendy or your neighbor's doing it or your wife wants you to do it or your husband. It's because it helps your body burn toxins up, eat toxins and bad, weak cells. It helps get all of the bad, nasty cells out of your body because they can't live in that environment. And then your body has stem cells to repair itself. So it can repair all the organs damaged by the toxins. I mean, if you just put your hand in turpentine for three or four hours, it's going to be burned. You know, a lot of the organs in our body are burned from these glyphosate, which is Roundup, which is, you know, everywhere. It's in our rainwater. Um, they're spraying it liberally on our crops. That's another, another topic for another day. Um, the estrogens that we get that are injected into the animals that we eat that are not organic is, is terrible and it causes cancer. Those, those uh, xenoestrogens, Z, it starts with an X, X-E-N-O, anything that starts with an X can't be good for you. So we want to teach you how to get rid of the xenoestrogens and um, how to, by optimizing your body's ability to use fuel, you turn your body into a, a Ferrari instead of an old junker. The old junker's blowing smoke out of the back. It's creaking. You know, the shocks are bad. The radiator's blowing hot air. I mean, I know people walking down. I see them. They're, that's what they look like. They, I get this visual of an old car that's on its last legs. And the cool thing about the body is it knows what to do if you just treat it right. So I am very, very excited about this Tuesday night, and I really hope that you take an hour out of your time and show up. Uh, I guarantee you will hear things that you haven't heard before, and you'll walk away with something to do. What you do beyond that is up to you, but um, I'm gonna give you everything I got. I'm gonna, I've got some of the top guys on the planet teaching me. Here in little old Santa Cruz, we're gonna, we're gonna bring it to fruition in Aptos, Tuesday night at the Santa Cruz Best Western. I, I really want you to come and just see what's up, see what, you know, what science is doing. Again, the guy who won the Nobel Prize for 2016, Dr. Yushinori Osuma, this is his information, you know. Autophagy, the body breaks down the bad cells in moments of stress. Controlled stress, correct, fasting correctly is the best way to do it. And you know so many people are fasting, but everybody's doing it without a guidebook. And some people are going to be fine, other people aren't. They're going to set a resolution yet one more time, and it's not going to work. They're taking their medications. They're going down a path, and you can see ahead. You know, I, our country is, is rated 50th in the world for health, and I remember years ago I was um, in a business, and there was a gentleman named Coleman Orr in this business, and he was funny, very successful guy, but he said when you see a bunch of cattle going down, he was from the Midwest, bunch of cattle going one way down a, a chute and it's, a, you know, 100 wide cattle finally gets down to one at a time going through that chute. They get to the end of that chute and then, boop, there they go into the feed truck going on to, you know, this, to their, uh, to feed the country. And one cow sticks his head up and sees what happens what's happening and goes, no, stop, no, go this way, don't, don't go forward, go left, go left. And all the other cows just kind of look at him and go, moo, and they move forward and they just push him and everybody else down that chute one at a time to go down to the butcher. And don't be that guy. Don't be that person. Decide to do something different. Dare to be different. Come to the workshop and learn how to do it. You know, again, some people are going to just come in, get the information. They're fine. They're ready to go. Some of you are going to need your hands held a little bit. Uh, we're going to be helping the people that might be exposed to heavy metals. We're, we're going to help them test for heavy metals correctly and find out that they might have a harder, a harder uh, path. 
Maybe they failed at all of the diets they've ever done because the body's toxic. Um, some people are going to have some damaged organs and some chronic diseases that we need to consider as we're teaching them how to take care of this. You know, there's going to be people who are going to want you to, you know, this isn't a, a, a medical treatment. You need to check with your doctor for sure. If you've got any conditions, check with them. And we'll, we'll advise you about that. We're just going to be advising you about how the body works, how it heals, what kind of food to put in it, what kind of food not to be put in it, and how often to put it in it, and based on the science out there. But uh, your body has the power to uh, make it or break it, and uh, it's what you put in it matters. The old adage, you are what you eat. So um, as we're drawing to the end of the hour here, I want to let you know it's not only fasting. See, what Dr. Pompa, um, Daniel Pompa, discovered, as well as talking to Dr. Walter Longo, Dr. Yushinori Asumi, and um, Dr. Jason Fung, is there's a several things that need to go into place. And some people on a diet, the, any diet, it could be the keto diet, the um, paleo diet, eat right for your blood type, whatever it is, it works at first, but then all of a sudden it doesn't work. You just stop. And there's a reason for that. It's called homeostasis. What it means is your body will um, jump to some new um, stimulus. It will start to act and respond to the stimulus, but and then that's when you start to burn uh, pounds and you lose weight on some of these diets. But after a while, it's no longer different. It's normal, and the body just kind of settles down to that normal amount. One thing that Walter uh, Longo added to this whole equation was that uh, he discovered when people, that maybe they burn 1,500 calories a day and they drop their body down to 1,000 calories a day, and they stay there, um, and they lose weight at first, all of a sudden the body adapts to 1,000 calories a day and you reach homeostasis again, which means the body's just normal there. And then all of a sudden you kind of go, that's it, I'm done, I'm gonna go have a cheeseburger with some french fries and you break your diet. Well, your body's so used to burning 1,000 calories a day that when you go up to 1,500 calories a day again, all that goes to stored fat. It's just, you, you, you don't bounce back up to that normal, um, calorie count. So anybody that's counted calories for years and years and years and years and years and you're still struggling, maybe it's time to check something out differently. So um, I would recommend that you come to the workshop Tuesday night at the Santa Cruz or the Seacliff Best Western in Aptos. Um, we're going to be talking about diet variation, which is exactly that point. You can't stay on the same diet. What they've discovered is you know, well, they didn't discover it. In the old days, you ate a mammoth, and then when there was no mammoth meat, you ate the fat all winter with the nuts you stored. When that ran out, there was nothing growing, so you starved, it's called it starvation spring, and then uh, the green stuff would start to grow, so you eat a bunch of green stuff, then the fruit, then the nut, then the roots, then you kill a mammoth again. It's called diet variation. It keeps the body on top of it, and the microbiome, or the bugs in our gut, stay on top of it. So these things, um, we want to wipe out the weak, lazy cells. We want to wipe out the weak, lazy, what we call microbiome. We're going to talk about uh, ketosis. How do you get into ketosis? Why would I want to be in ketosis? Does the ketone diet alone work? Um, and what we found is it flattens out after a while. You need to have what we call feast days and fast days. We'll be going over that. Guess what? You get to eat one day. Isn't that cool? And... Uh, so for a, a text, start fasting to 474747, you'll get an, uh, um, a download a, a page that you can uh, click on, and it's going to give you the site. For those of you watching Facebook, I'm holding up this book here. It says Stenomic Solution. It was put together by Dr. Daniel Pampa with influences from all those other amazing, great scientists that we're talking about. And it's uh, the seven-week um, stenomic solution that we'll be rolling out. We'll be introducing it to you Tuesday night. Um, and uh, there's about there's several offices around the country and around the world doing this directly. Uh, we're a group of doctors dedicated to improving the health of people naturally, and uh, it's so neat to be working with them. And right now, 
Um, in several states, there are people doing the same thing I'm doing. We're all start. Most of us are starting Tuesday. Again, Dr. Pompa has uh, 20,000 people uh, fasting with him right now. His goal is a million. If fasting could change the health of a country, which all signs point to that it can, then when are you going to jump on board? This isn't a thing you do once. It's a, it's a lifestyle change. You start to learn how to take care of your body and respect it rather than abuse it and expect it to get, get you up and get you to work the next day. So if you are tired, sick and tired of being sick and tired and you want to do something different and you've heard about um, intermittent fasting, there's, there's about six different fasts that we're going to introduce. One may work better for you based on your condition. All bodies are different. We all have different conditions we need to treat. And so it's not one size fits all. Um, we're going to find what works best to you. And uh, some days you're going to feel like a failure, but there is no failure, failing. Um, you just keep going because it's a lifestyle change. So um, I am, uh, this is Dr. Duncan McCollum. Uh, my office is in, uh, I'm a chiropractor in Capitola. You've probably seen my office next to Bed Bath & Beyond there in the Brown Ranch Shopping Center. And I'm a chiropractor, love to have you come in. It's all about, not only about the way the nerves in your spine works, it's about the chemical effects on our body, what we're putting in our body, and what kind of stress we have mentally that we're surrounded by. So it's a three-legged stool, if you will. There's structure, which is a nervous system. There's chemical, which we're talking about, put the foods and toxins in our body and then the mental stress. So if we can work with you to help improve some of these areas of your body, you'll live a healthier, happier life. So many people come in and they're just unhappy because they just feel like, beep. So my job is to help you with that. Um, again, Tuesday night at the Best Western, Seacliff Best Western, where Severino's is, seven to eight o'clock you can dial 831-459-9990 or text start fasting all one word to 47 47 47 thank you so much you guys have an awesome beautiful day out there and we'll be on here next week Restoring proper digestive function, increasing your energy, strengthening your immune response, and improving your sleep.